Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick one, but it's something I've been wanting to talk about for a couple weeks now. Rumor has it that AMD is going to be releasing their Ryzen AI Max and Max Plus chip soon. These are codenamed Strix Halo, and over on Twitter, or X if you want to call it that, Golden Pig Upgrade Pack posted this. A couple of the SKUs that are going to be releasing. Now, I'm still taking this with kind of a grain of salt, but there's a lot of leaks going on right now. And of course, earlier this year, we just got Strix Point. They're great performers, very efficient. They've got an awesome iGPU, but with these new AI Max chips, that GPU has been upgraded significantly. In fact, this is looking like the most powerful APU we've ever seen from any manufacturer to date. Three SKUs right now, Ryzen AI Max Plus top the line, this is the 395, 16 cores with a 40 compute unit iGPU. Ryzen AI Max 390, it's a 12 core part with a 40 CU iGPU. And the Max 385, 8 cores with a 32 CU iGPU. Just to give you an idea, right now we've got the HX370 Ryzen AI chip, and that comes packed with a 16 CU iGPU. Now, they're talking about up to 40 CUs with these iGPUs, and if we just head over to AMD's website real quick and take a look at their 7600 XT, which is a dedicated GPU, I know a lot of people didn't like the pricing on this, but I did think it was a pretty decent performer for what we were getting here. 32 compute units, and the biggest difference between the iGPU and this dedicated GPU is going to be the RAM speed. This dedicated GPU uses GDDR6, and we're going to be limited to LPDDR5X with the iGPU. So I'm not expecting full 7600 XT performance. But if you take a look at what's been leaked so far, we've got that Zen 5 chiplet design up to 16 cores, 64 megabytes of L3 cache, 40 RDNA 3.5 compute units, 32 megabytes of mall cache for the iGPU, 256-bit LPDDR5 at 8000 megahertz memory controller, XDNA engine, so we've got that AI built in, obviously, up to 60 tops of AI performance. And the interesting thing is, this supports up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, and you can have it allocate up to 96 gigabytes to the iGPU. Now, for gaming on something like this, I mean, it's way overkill for an APU, but for AI tasks and people using this strictly for AI, having that 96 gigs over on the iGPU can really come in handy. But personally, I'm more interested in a chip like this for a mini gaming PC, and I've been doing some testing with the HX370. I was actually able to overclock the iGPU and the RAM in a little mini PC I've got from B-Ling. I'll leave a link to that video down below, but yeah, I mean, with that RDNA 3.5 iGPU, we've been seeing some really great performance, and that only has 16 compute units. So moving up to something on par with the 7600 XT would really up our game on an iGPU setup. And with that HX370, we've been able to go up to around 85 watts. They're saying that the new Ryzen Max AI can do anywhere from 55 up to 130 watts, which is quite a bit for an APU. If this is shoved inside of a laptop, I'm expecting around 85 watts max TDP for most of the stuff that we're going to see. So it's definitely not designed for handheld gaming consoles. They'll be leaving that to the upcoming Z2 Extreme or whatever they're going to call it. And yeah, I'm just super excited about this because... Seeing these iGPUs get up there with dedicated GPU performance is pretty amazing. And AMD recently did state that they're not going to be focusing on high-end GPUs anymore, staying with the mid-range. And it would make sense for them to build an APU that we could game on at 1080p with any newer AAA game and not have to worry about a dedicated GPU. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. This is something that I was super excited about, and hopefully we do hear some more news in the next few weeks or so. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Would a 40 compute unit iGPU be enough for you to swap out from a larger desktop PC to a mini PC as your main gaming rig? Let me know your thoughts down below. And like always, thanks for watching.